A city-sized asteroid is quietly drifting through our solar system. It's not coming for Earth, but it might be heading for something just as familiar, our moon. Its name is 2024 YR4, and it has a chance, though small, to crash into the moon in the year 2032. What would that look like? Would we be able to see it from Earth? Could it affect satellites, future lunar bases, or even our view of the night sky? In this video, we'll dive deep into everything we know about asteroid 2024 YLR4, its size, its path, its threat level, and the incredible science we might witness if it does impact the moon. Let's get started. Asteroid 2024 YR4 was discovered on December 27, 2024, by the Atlas Telescope in Chile. From the beginning, it stood out. Initial calculations suggested it was between 53 and 70 meters in diameter. That's about the size of a 15-story building, large enough to cause serious damage if it ever struck Earth. And for a few weeks, there was real concern that it might. In January 2025, astronomers assigned it a rating of 3 on the Torino scale. That's a system used to rate asteroid threats, and level 3 means a close encounter with a 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 100 chance of collision capable of causing local damage. That kind of risk isn't common. In fact, very few known asteroids have ever reached Torino Level 3. So what happened next? Well, the scientific community mobilized fast. Observatories around the world, along with space-based telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, gathered more data, they refined the asteroid's orbit, and fed that information into updated models. And by March 2025, the Earth impact risk was brought down to practically zero, about 0.001%. Crisis averted, at least for Earth. But then came the twist. While the asteroid may not be on a collision course with Earth, its orbit suggested a new possibility, a direct hit on the Moon. According to the latest data, there's around a 4.3% chance that asteroid 2024 YR4 could collide with the Moon on December 22, 2032 at approximately 1510 UTC. Now, you might be wondering, is that a lot? Well, in space terms, it kinda is. Most asteroids we track have odds in the millions or billions. A 4% chance is enough to pay attention, especially when you consider the consequences. So why is the Moon at risk? It all comes down to timing and geometry. In 2022, 2024 YR4 is expected to pass very close to both Earth and the Moon. The Moon's position during that time puts it in a potential path of collision depending on slight variations in the asteroid's orbit. And here's the tricky part. We haven't observed the asteroid since May 2025. Why? Because it became too faint and too far away to track from Earth. It simply slipped beyond the reach of our current instruments. That means we're working with a limited observation arc. It's like trying to predict where a ball will land after watching it fly for only a second. The next opportunity to observe 2024 YR4 will be in June 2028. That's when it will come close enough again to get new data and hopefully settle the question, will it hit the moon or not? Before it faded from view, we did get a little help from the James Webb Space Telescope. In early 2025, JWST observed the asteroid in the infrared spectrum. That's important because it tells us not just how big the asteroid is, but what kind of surface it has, and even how sunlight might be subtly changing its path over time, a phenomenon known as the Yarkovsky effect. 
Thanks to that data, scientists were able to refine the size estimate to somewhere between 53 and 70 meters, and also account for small orbital shifts caused by thermal radiation. Still, those refinements only go so far. Without new observations, there's only so much we can say. That's why 2028 is such a critical moment. But let's ask the big question. What if 2024 YR4 actually hits the moon? A 60-meter asteroid traveling at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour would create a truly enormous explosion on the lunar surface. Simulations suggest that the impact would release the energy of approximately 5 megatons of TNT. That's more than 300 times the power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The result? A crater anywhere from 500 meters to 1,000 meters wide. For reference, that's like a hole the size of the Golden Gate Bridge, or nearly twice the size of the largest crater made during modern military testing. But that's not all. The impact would launch 100,000 metric tons of lunar rock and dust into space. Some of it could drift into solar orbit, some might fall back onto the moon's surface, and some, depending on velocity, could end up near Earth's orbit. That could put satellites at risk, especially those orbiting the moon or traveling between the Earth and the moon. There's also the question of visibility. Would we see the impact from Earth? Surprisingly, yes. If it strikes on the side of the moon facing Earth, and if skies are clear, astronomers believe the flash could be visible with the naked eye, possibly even during daylight. Now, imagine that, watching a pinpoint of light explode on the moon in real time, knowing exactly what caused it. It would be the first time in human history we witnessed a known, predicted asteroid impact on the moon. From a scientific perspective, such an event would be priceless. Seismometers placed on the moon by future Artemis missions could record shock waves from the blast. Orbiters could capture high-resolution images of the crater's formation, and scientists on Earth could use telescopes to study how the ejecta behaves in real time. It's a rare, maybe once in a century opportunity to study crater physics up close and gather real world data to improve our understanding of impact events across the solar system. And for space agencies preparing for future lunar habitats or mining operations, the lessons could be critical. How much damage could an impact like this cause? How far does the ejecta spread? What kind of protection would astronauts or infrastructure need in the event of a natural impact? These are not hypothetical questions anymore. So, let's take a step back. Here's what we know. Earth is safe. The moon is at some risk. The odds of impact are low, but not zero. And we won't know more until 2028. Until then, scientists will continue preparing. Simulations will be run, strategies will be tested, and astronomers will be watching the skies. Because whether or not 2024 YR4 hits the moon, it's a reminder of how dynamic and unpredictable our solar system really is. If you found this video fascinating, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next update in this cosmic story, especially as we get closer to 2028 and 2032. And if you know someone who loves space, asteroids, or just big questions about the universe, share this video with them, because we might be just seven years away from watching a cosmic collision live from Earth. And that's something worth talking about. The countdown has already begun.